it's not my fourth year on tour. I'm not going to lie, it's been tough. I, I see myself as a hard worker on tour and I haven't really achieved what I've set out to do so far. Uh, I feel I'm heading in a good direction, which is good this year, but I set goals out for myself and uh, yeah, I think with hard work and the right mental attitude, um, I'm going to achieve it soon. So I'm heading in the right, right direction, which is good. The transition between amateur golf and professional golf is really tough. You know, all of a sudden playing for, you know, trying to get your national colours and going into professional golf where you, all of a sudden you play for your, your living, you know. And uh, for the first three years on tour, I've, I've had to work at Centurion Country Club. I was manager there. And uh, yeah, that, it was really tough to, to find a balance between working and practicing and, and traveling to, to golf tournaments and stuff like that. And that's why I said, leading into this year, um, I changed a couple of stuff in, in my career. I resigned at where I work and that made a huge difference in my mindset, uh, giving myself a lot more time to work on my game, to work on the mental aspect on the game. And uh, yeah, just moving, like I said, moving in the right direction. Personal life, I've, I've had a few setbacks in my personal life, um, but I'm not going to look at it as a negative thing. Um, I take it all as a positive thing and it motivates me to do better next time, you know, to play better next time and work hard. I'm planning to, to go and play European qualifying school, uh, which is two weeks from now. But three, four days ago, I got an email from the European Tour and I got an invite to play in the Alfred Daniel Links Championship, which was such a huge honor to just get the email to say, wow, I'm playing in this prestigious event. This has been an event that I've been dreaming to play in uh, since I've been small. But the thing is now I'm sitting between two tournaments. I've got European Qualifying School first stage and I've got Alfred Daniel uh, and it's the same time. I've been working this whole year towards first stage European qualifying school to try and get my European tour card and you know try and further my career. My decision at the end of the day is going to come down to you know career versus opportunity. I'm going to get the opportunity to play in the Alfred Dunya links hopefully many times in my career but it's just me getting over that hurdle and getting my European tour card and you know moving moving on just getting on to a bigger tour playing against great competitors out there which is my dream. I love this sport you know it sometimes we get our setbacks and the small little glory that we get like winning a tournament or getting a second place or something like that makes it worthwhile you know it, there's so many setbacks in golf and the small things makes makes the huge difference Lip Creek. Con Usti. Nils Kittergut, Colin, Granty, Brent Flanagan. 60 at Wild Coast, not in a tournament. This week at the Bozzi is pretty good. <laughs> Pizza, definitely. Anything with veggies. I don't like to chat when I have a bad day. <laughs> uh, it's between the bulls and the lions. Don't watch football. Poker. Spiders. Tiger Woods. I don't know, I don't have a cartoon. No, I don't know, don't have one. You're making me think now. Uh, okay, wait, I've got to think of some. Will Ferrell.
Wogsy? Hello, Wogsy. Cole. 367, one club challenge. What are we going to do here? Well, the, the practical thing is not to hit drop. No. Because no. then uh, the short shot's a bit, a bit tough. I think um, for me it's probably about a six iron, six iron. Well, how far do you hit your six iron? Very far. I suppose seven iron, seven iron for me would be all right. Sounds good, eh? Age is a bit of a in play here. Because I'm the oldest, I think I'll flip the coin and you can call. Okay, go. Heads. Tails it is. I'll take the honor. Okay. Fin to win. I have to hit it thin to get it there. Well, you nearly got a birdie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good shot. Oh, Ooh, a what a bad bounce. Oh, jeez. Get left. Maybe got an extra 10. <laughs> Are we walking? Do you want to take a bag? Keep up. Do you want to take a bag? We only need a six on. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Feels weird, this man. Oh, I think I've left myself a perfect six on in Cole. No, don't joke. Yeah, 180 on the dot. I'm a bit left. Kick a little left for me. No, it's all right. Can't see it. Well, now we can see how good your putting is with the six on. Oh, no, there it is. Just outside give. <laughs> Great shot, it's next to me. Keep over the line. <laughs> Take it out for you, Cole. Yeah, thanks, Wogi. Take it out, man. You can light behind the hole if you want to. <laughs> I might have to. Oh, it looks good. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I'll, I'll give you that Have one. I got that. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Actually, I'll finish, so there's no complaining after this. Okay. Yeah, oh, well done. That's definitely an easier way to make four on this hole. Oh, it's off. Oh, I think you've left yourself one of those. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. The first book was actually shocking. Oh, too oh, solid. Oh, oh. I thought you were going to let the old boy win. No. Bogsy, thanks for the one old challenge, Thank my man. Thank you, Carl. I enjoyed it. That was fun. Hey, yeah. Good luck. Thank you, All too. the best. Should we have a playoff? No, thanks. <laughs>
Um, you know, everyone's allowed to hit a few bad shots here and there and make some mistakes, but when you're in good position and then you're making bogeys, that uh, you're never going to win tournaments like that. So I'd say that's one of the biggest things I'm working on right now to, to iron out in my game. The mental aspect of it, I'd say, is definitely a big part of it. You know, you, you're forced to reassess certain things, you're forced to reevaluate where you are mentally and how you think. And look, you know, when you are around good players, you also see how they're doing things. I think the biggest thing was trying to find consistency in my mental game and also just trying to find simplicity. You know, I think if you look at some of the, the top players, they're always making things simple and uh, makes it look easy. My mentors, I'd say, I'd say out of few. Definitely, you know, everyone says Tiger, but you know, there's a lot of things to take out of what he did. You know, his flair, his passion, his, you know, his will to win. That was always inspiring. And then, someone that really, really inspired me was was Louis Oosthuizen. Um, You know, I love his whole, his his demeanor. You know, his his whole attitude. You know, he's he's a real gentleman, and um, he's always got time for people. And I think that's something that a lot of guys forget. You know, <laughs> the only reason we can make any money in this game is because people watch us you know if you don't have time for them then what's the point when Tegan's not playing golf I do enjoy my gym I know that's part of my job but I enjoy it I enjoy a good coffee definitely uh, so a nice coffee with some friends but uh, for the rest I'm not a super social person in terms of big groups or whatever so you know a small group of mates have a bra it's always good for me eh? <laughs>